Welcome to Literary and Jury Charge Practice. Let's get started with this jury charge. Ready? The case that was before the court was that of murder. The question that arose was that of time. The murder that was committed was supposed to be some time in the p.m. According to the police, the murder was committed at approximately 10 p.m. The time of the murder was established by the police. The police knew that the crime had been committed before midnight. They were to produce evidence of that fact. They established the crime as having occurred at approximately 10 p.m. They had testimony from a police officer that indicated the time of the murder. The question is, what happened in the intervening hours? The actual crime was reported about midnight. The body was discovered shortly before midnight and reported to a police officer. That police officer called in the murder. The person who reported the crime to the police officer confessed to the killing. He indicated that he killed the individual in the heat of passion. All right, let's try some literary material. This will be a continuation of a literary that we started regarding Finding Harmony. That's the title, Finding Harmony. Ready? Nearby, you'll find a memorial for a cat that was once the town's mayor and a glass blowing studio, one of Harmony's two businesses, is owned by internationally known artist Eric Dandurand. Harmony, once a major dairy producer, is known for its succession of owners, six in 50 years. The Vanderhorst family, who most recently purchased the town 
in 2014 comes from a dairy background and wants to maintain Harmony's old time charms while restoring a bit of its historic luster. The family has resurrected the name Harmony Valley Creamery and plans to offer its own dairy products. They also hope to soon reopen a restaurant and the post office. Let's see, we might have had a few challenging words in there. We had memorial, memorial, glass blowing, a long word, glass blowing, internationally, probably could write that just in three strokes, internationally. Then we had the name Eric Dandurand. I think that's how I said it. Vanderhorst, the Vanderhorst family. Old time charms. Historic luster. Resurrected. and Creamery, Harmony Valley, Harmony Valley Creamery. Okay, we'll get back to that. Let's do some more jury charge practice now. The transcript is delivered to the witness. The witness has an opportunity to read the transcript and make any changes that the witness wishes to make. The witness is always cautioned that any changes that are made to the transcript could result in the credibility of the witness being questioned. In this case, the credibility of the witness was questioned because he made conflicting statements in his testimony. He had not changed the testimony upon reading it, and he changed his testimony in court from what it had been and what appeared in the verbatim transcript. For this reason, the judge decided to rule in favor of the defendant during his instructions to the jury, 
the judge made it clear to the jury that they were to look at the credibility of the witnesses when returning a verdict. The witness who raised the doubt in the minds of several jurors was the police officer who testified on behalf of the state. The jurors discussed the fact that there were several different times when the police officer's testimony did not match the testimony that he had previously given. The fact that the testimony did not match raised some serious doubt in the minds of the jurors. other literary material. Oh, let's finish up our, our literary on Finding Harmony. Ready? The popular Wedding Chapel grounds, located in what was once the Dairy's Cooling House, are being spruced up too. Couples can rent out the entire town and for celebrations, the separately owned Harmony Cellars Winery is conveniently perched up the hill just outside of town. So how does Harmony's population remain a constant 18? According to the town's historian, Ms. Wells, that number is just an average, but it certainly reflects Harmony's small town spirit. Get back to our jury charge now. A little more jury charge practice. All set, here we go. Several of the jurors did not believe his testimony at all. Several of them believed his story that he did not have enough time and just read quickly through the transcript. At one point, the defendant's attorney requested a directed verdict because he felt that there was not enough evidence presented by the state 
to convict the defendant, the judge did not grant a directed verdict. A directed verdict is granted only when the judge feels that the case is weighted on one side. At first, the judge did not agree with this position. All right, back to some literary practice. And the subject of this, this literary is called Hotel Intel. Hotel Intel, I-N-T-E-L. I guess that's short for maybe intelligence. Hotel Intel. All right, here we go. In the days before digital devices, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel's Helen Chaplin kept a card file on frequent guests. She made notes of their preferences from what they ate for breakfast to what flowers they liked. When Arthur Rubinstein stayed there, the story goes, Chaplin made sure a piano was in his room. With today's technologies, Hotels and other travel companies gather this kind of information on a scale previously unimagined. Your smartphone, social media activity, and internet search patterns reveal where you're likely to travel, what concerts you enjoy, and how you like your eggs. We're looking at what data the travel industry is capturing from the user as they travel and how they're able to improve the user's visit, says Jason Clampett, co-founder of Skift, which tracks digital travel trends. So if you're a jogger, for example, the hotel might put a map of local running trails in your room. Thoughtful, yes, but at what point does it seem like your hotel is stalking you? The best travel brands Take the approach, what do I know about the guests that's going to make their stay better, says Clampett. Not how do I 
track them down and get them to buy another drink. You can't control the information that's already out there or that you offer up every time you tweet or post an Instagram photo, but you can limit the data you provide a hotel to only what's required for your reservation. All right. Well, on that note, we will conclude our literary and jury charge practice. Thank you.